Hey guys! So I know it's been a while since I brought you along with me for a little chit chat and vlogging, but I thought today would be the perfect day for that because I'm actually about to go and get my hair cut. Oh my gosh, it is high time you guys. And I'm starting to see a trend that I get my hair cut, but once a year, always in the spring. <laughs> and I even had a Facebook memories pop up the other day that was from five years ago where I had gotten bangs and kind of like a shorter bob. And it was in like, obviously like March or April. I was like, oh, this is, this is embarrassing. Like <laughs> I need to go more than once a year. So maybe, maybe this year will be the year for that. So I'm not going to get anything too drastic done. I'm getting married in two weeks, so I can't be rolling in with a crazy new do. <laughs> so I think I'll get maybe an inch or two taken off and then just some layers put in. So I just have it air dried right now. I was like, why am I going to wash it twice in one day and get all crazy and style it? That's what the hairstylist is for, right? Right? <laughs> so I am super excited for that. So you guys will come along with me for that and see how it turns out. Let's cross our fingers for the best. Um, but also, since I am downtown, um, on my way out, I'll be passing Salvation Army. You know where I'm going with this. Yeah. Um, we going shopping. <laughs> I need a couple of things for the trip. I mean, do I really need them? Probably not, but do I want to go shopping? Heck yes. <laughs> so we will go and see what Salvation Army has in store for us and just enjoy the day. And somewhere along this, I will share with you kind of where I am with wedding planning and how all of that is going with being so close to it. So I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so I just finished at Wild Heart Salon. I'll leave info down below, but I am totes feeling this haircut. And does anybody feel the same way as I do after you get a haircut? You're like, yes, what, me, hello. Like everything is just like fancy and amazing. I just, I love it so much. So if you guys can't tell, <laughs> I'm in kind of pre-wedding uh, glamor mode right now, if you will. So, in addition to the haircut today, I'm getting my brows done later. I did kind of a nail trial yesterday. <laughs> so, um, I'll get them done a little bit closer to the wedding. So, yeah, it's kind of um, crazy how close that we're getting to everything. But I literally cannot express how excited I am <laughs> for the wedding to get here. Um, it's been almost a year of planning. You guys have been with me along this journey, which is just so awesome. So to think that I'm only two weeks away from getting to say my vows and, you know, dance with everybody and go on this honeymoon, I just, I, I can't believe it. So, um, I do have to say I feel pretty good about, I'm sorry, the shadows are weird. Um, I feel pretty good about where we are with everything. It's not like I'm going, oh my god, I forgot about this thing. Oh, this is stressing me out. I feel pretty darn good, um, due largely in part to my mom's help. <laughs> she's um, been retired for the past few months, so she's been my kind of, um, I, I guess, stand-in uh, wedding planner, if you will, and she's been doing a bang-up job, so thanks, Mom. Um, so she has helped a ton and she's really kind of made me feel at ease with a lot of things. Um, so honestly, I think all it comes down to now is just getting married. <laughs> so, uh, it's just bananas. So yeah, all that's going on. Um, sorry, I have to keep kind of moving you guys around here a little bit. So now we are en route to Salvation Army, the one that I always go to in downtown Sacramento just before the freeway, of course. Again, I'll leave the information down below. Um, but I had to make a cheeky little stop at the mill. If any of you are from Sacramento, you'll know what a great coffee shop this is. It's totally independent. Mm. And it's just really good coffee and I never get to that side of town. So I was like, oh, I'm passing by it anyway. Like I gotta just stop in. So yeah, now I'm caffeinated, got my new do, feeling good about life, and I'm ready to shop. So let's go. I also may have gotten a cheeky little cookie that's as big as my face. 
Nom nom nom. What's a wedding diet though? Like I'm just wondering. I don't know what that is. guys so I am home now I just got my brows did so that they're a little pink that would be why I'm pretty sensitive to that stuff but she did conceal them so I think I'm okay um but I thought it'd be fun to show you oh oh yeah all the goodies that I picked up today um there's lady taking a little nap because that's what cats do <laughs> but I picked up two bags of stuff from Salvation Army and then some stuff from Ulta that's what happens when you're like waiting for your appointment and you're surrounded by makeup and you're a makeup junkie yeah yeah bye bye money bye see you it's fun while it lasted <laughs> so I figured it'd be fun to do a little haul for you guys so let's get to it Oh, you guys now can see my hair cut a little better. Oh my god, seriously, it feels so good. Okay, anyway, um, so I spent $23.99 at Salvation Army. There's my receipt. And they had some decent sales going on. They had 50% off of all color tags except for green, which of course, majority of the stuff that I found was green, so I had to put some of it back. Um, and then they had $1 on yellow tags, so that was pretty cool. So I managed to find something from like every area. So the first thing, oh, lady is inspecting. Can you see her? Just checking out what I got. <laughs> lady. You want some makeup, baby? You want some makeup? So anyway, the first thing that I got, oh gosh, there goes the back, is this really cool pair of Tahari sandals. Look, look how nice those are. And they've got this cool chunky heel. And I want to say they're a size 9 or 10 from what I saw. Yeah, a size 10. So just upon kind of initial, um, you know, research, I saw that they were selling a pair just like this on Amazon. I didn't catch the price, but I was just kind of looking for the style. But it had like a, a tie that went around, like that you could do up your ankle. So now that I'm looking at it closer, it does look like it's totally missing that. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but I do, which I wonder why somebody would take those out, like they were deliberately taken out. So that makes me think that you can still wear them without that tie, which is good. Um, and they look pretty cool, and of course I would disclose that on Poshmark because these are not my size, this will definitely be going up in my Poshmark closet. But I just thought that they were a cool, like, easy breezy shoe for the summer, so I had to pick those up. And I want to say all of their shoes are 350 So for Tahari, that's pretty awesome. 
Alright, so the next thing that I picked up at Salvation Army is this adorable tissue box cover. Like, look how cute. It's got different cities around the world. And of course, the one that drew me in was Paris. Like, I had to pick it up. And it's actually going to be living on my nightstand over there because we have, like, a plethora of tissue boxes, but they're all, like, icky, like, brown colors. So I was really happy to find this because I did not have a cover for in our room. So yay, that's a great score. And it was half off of three bucks, so yay. So next are a couple of $1 shirts that I found, including this super adorable v-neck t-shirt from Morona, which is at Target, but it's got little pineapples, pineapple party. But I just thought I had to pick this up for my mom. I think that she will just get a kick out of it and she'll totally wear it in the summer. And it was only a buck, so that's a pretty great deal. And then the next dollar shirt that I got it was just this really simple ANA, which is a new approach, which I think is JCPenney. But it's just a black t-shirt with this um, lace detail up at the top. And I just need things like this in the spring and summer to wear with my really colorful skirts that I have. Because, oh man, I have been <laughs> stocking up on some fun, crazy printed skirts. So I need something more simple to wear on top, so I thought that was a great find. So I got a couple more tops here. So the first one is this um, Soma Cami, and it's really stretchy and feels really soft, but I love these things like all throughout the year because sometimes I'll find that I have a shirt that I want to wear to work, but it's sheer. Um, so just having these on hand so that you can wear things to many different occasions is great because maybe outside of work, I wouldn't really care if it was a little sheer, but of course in the office, you want to be professional and appropriate. So I definitely need to kind of stockpile these. So I thought this was a great find and it's in wonderful condition and it was only $4. It was one of the green tags, so it wasn't on sale. But I imagine a Soma tank like this would be pretty expensive in the stores. So next I got this Top Man, which is the Top Shop men's department. Little striped t-shirt. It's a size large. Obviously, like, you know why I was drawn into it. I was like, oh, stripes. But then I saw that it's just this kind of oversized for me t-shirt, which I think will be awesome. Just kind of over leggings or kind of half tucked into some boyfriend jeans. So I kind of can't wait to style it up. I know it's simple, but I think there's a lot of options here, which is awesome. And it was half off of $4.99. So I found a few clothing items for Poshmark, which was awesome because I wasn't really intending on looking for items for my closet, but then I came across them and they were really good deals, so why not? So the first thing that I got is this Ann Taylor Loft Blazer. And it's actually in my size, so it'll be hard not to hold on to, but it's just this striped blazer with this cool um, zipper detail and then it's got kind of an interesting shape where it's a little bit shorter in the back um, but I just thought that is such a classic piece it is so cute and kind of um, like classic without being stuffy which I think is awesome so I had to pick this one up and again it was half off a of blue tag so I got it for only three bucks so next is a brand that I haven't picked up before, but I know that I've heard it kind of in the Instagram reseller world as a brand to keep an eye out for, and that is Simply. So here's what the tag looks like. Oh, it focuses there. Ooh, ooh. It's kind of like a cursive, and then it says the best over here, but it's made in Canada, and it's this really long, really stretchy and bouncy tank top, but it's got these interesting pockets here on the sides, like, it's an interesting one for sure, but it's really well made. And as I was just kind of um, doing a cursory search on Google for Simply Pieces, they were like tops were in like the $100, $160 area. So I think that kind of bodes well. Um, I picked this one up for four, so we'll kind of see how it does. But I figure, if anything, it's just a cool tank top. So regardless of the brand, maybe someone will pick it up because of the style. So the last item that I picked up for my Poshmark closet is a brand that I have picked up before. It always seems to do pretty well, and that is Bowden, which you will see here. Um, 
don't mind my finger over here. I got my nails done yesterday and she kind of nicked my cuticles. So now I'll be rocking this little band-aid for a while. So that's cool. Anyway, <laughs> so their tags have this little blue circle on it. So that's something to keep an eye out for. But it's just this beautiful cream color kind of slight peplum blouse here and it has that exposed zipper on the back but I just saw this on the go back rack for the fitting room and immediately snagged it up it just it feels amazing it feels so buttery soft and I looked at the um, fabric content tag and it's over 50% silk so that probably had something to do with it but I think that this is just a perfect top for the springtime so I was really excited to find it and it was only two bucks so last step for Salvation Army is not one, but two pairs of jeans. Ah, like, I'm not even gonna say it's a curvy girl thing. I feel like this is an every girl thing. Finding jeans is just, it's always such a task. But I happened to come across these two. They were both blue tags, so they were both half off. So I was like, all right, just take a few minutes, try them on, see how it goes, even though I was not looking forward to it. But I ended up scoring on two. So the first pair that I got is this um, Loft, I think it's the Curvy Skinny, yep, which I've had these before in a darker wash. Holy moly. You guys, if you are a curvy girl like myself, get your hands on a pair of these. They fit so nicely. I really like where they hit on my waist. They're not too low, um, but I could just go on and on. I just love these. And they have a really, really skinny leg, <laughs> so I'll probably be kind of cuffing them up a little bit, but I just fell in love with them. They were three bucks, so that's just amazing. I cannot believe my luck with that. And then the next pair that I got, oh, I'm sorry, lady. Oh, stretch it out. <laughs> it's so cute. Um, the next pair of jeans that I got was kind of a chance, but I've been seeing like really unique DIY denim kind of all over. And I just thought, you know, take a chance. It's half off, have some fun, live a little. So that brought me to this pair of really light wash, but they are originally by um, Jones New York Sport. They're a size 10, but they have these cool, like huge pockets, which is awesome. But it looks like somebody did a little DIY, like maybe they started it and didn't like how it turned out. I'm not sure, because it's frayed here on the bottom. And then the back also was kind of messed with a little bit, but you guys saw me try these on. I think they're kind of cool. <laughs> Like, I, I'm kind of down for them. These are only $2.50. So, if anything, if I wear them once and go, my God, Katie, what were you thinking? I can just take them back to the thrift store, start over that whole cycle again. And, you know, no harm, no foul. But I thought it'd be fun to kind of play around with these denim trends for the spring. So that's it for Salvation Army. But I did pick up some things from Ulta. So if you want to see what I got, stick around. So am I the only one who's late to the game in that I had no idea that Morphe was now being carried at Ulta? Yeah, didn't even know. I've been ordering things online, which I love them. I love their brushes. I love their eyeshadow palettes. They have really good rates on stuff, which is awesome, but it's always great to be able to go and see things in person um, because maybe you'll find something that you wouldn't have taken a chance on online, you know? So I found a palette, you guys. OMG. So here's what the box looks like. It's the 9C, the Jewel Crew palette, and it has nine colors in it. And I have been seriously obsessed with just purpley, pinky, cranberry plum tones right now. And I'm sure it's the fact that, you know, everything is in bloom and I'm feeling very inspired by it, but I just want all of the like purple cranberry shades that there are. I'm just obsessed right now. So I saw this one and I just had to get it. So here's what it looks like. I mean, <laughs> so it has these beautiful kind of orangey colors, dark browns here, um, kind of a really dark plum with a little bit of shimmer there in the middle, this gorgeous gold. Oh my God, don't even get me started. This one I die for, it's like a rose gold shimmer. But what really drew me in is this one called Purple Rain. just gorgeous gorgeous and this is 12 bucks 
12 bucks for nine shadows that have pretty good pigmentation. I was testing them there in the store. It looked pretty good from what I could tell, but I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with that. So that was a great find. Um, so I'm just gonna put that over here. Oh boy, please, please don't drop. And while we're on the subject of um, eyeshadows, <laughs> I'll just show you because it's sitting right on the dresser that you guys are propped up on. Um, I did pre-order the Lemonade Craze Palette from Maybelline. Have you guys gotten your hands on this? Oh my God, they had it for pre-order on Amazon. And I went to town, I was like, do it, just buy it. But oh my God, guys, look at this, oh my God. And it's supposed to smell like lemonade. And it sure does, oh my gosh. So yeah, this one, I mean, I'm sure you can tell why I had to get it. Like that pinky color, um, these shades right up here, I'm just never gonna leave the bathroom. I'm just gonna keep playing around, trying new looks. That's where I'll be if you need me. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I picked up at Ulta, I kind of went a little bananas for, and I got two of them, but it is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Y'all, <laughs> if you have not tried this, get your hands on it. It is amazing. It's one of my favorite sponges out there. I don't see the need to spend $20 on the Beauty Blender. That's just bananas to me. So this one originally is $6.99, which I think is great. And you can use coupons sometimes. Um, but they had these on clearance. The single one was $3.59. And then the one with the little carrier was $4.19. Why didn't I get 20? Like seriously. <laughs> so I was really happy about this find and honestly I could use the little travel thing because what happens now is I'll clean it really well and then I'll put it in with my travel stuff and then I get to where I'm going. I'm like, this is not a good situation. <laughs> so now I'll actually be able to kind of contain it and keep it clean, which is awesome. So, oh my God, this is amazing. Maybe I'll go back and get more. I'll probably go back and get more. So next up from Ulta is a total recommendation from all of the beauty gurus on YouTube and that is the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation. I got mine in ivory. Um, I have heard rave reviews about this which is awesome because it's only $8.99. That's pretty cool but I've seriously heard um, Kathleen Lights and Tati I think talked about this. And I know she, in particular, is very critical of foundations. Um, so when she liked it, I was like, <laughs> like, I'm getting some for myself. So I seriously cannot wait to try this one. So last but not least is a total impulse purchase, but I just could not help myself. I love Zoella, Zoe Sugg. I think she is so cute and awesome. I love her fashion and I just think that she is a great person. So I wanted to support her. So when I saw her beauty range at Ulta, I was like, I have to get something. Like I've never gotten anything from her before. And it worked out well because I've been looking for something for my wedding day to kind of give me a little shimmer, a little shine, make me look really glamorous. So I stumbled upon a this little baby. So it's this, um, what is it called? Body fondant, but it smells like macarons and it's supposed to give you a little shimmer. So lo and behold, I tried it in the store and I tried it on my hand and it just gave me like a lovely little glimmer, like nothing too glittery or crazy. And OMG, it does smell like macarons, cake, whatever you wanna say sweet and sugary and fabulous. So let me pop it open here. Ooh, oh God, okay. <laughs> so it comes with this little body puff here and then this is what it looks like. So it looks a lot more um, caramel or tan here in the pot, but when you put it on, it just gives kind of a subtle golden glow, nothing too crazy, not like a tan or anything. So I was super happy to find that one. It was, um, a little under $16 I want to say which I don't think is too bad for how much you get but this is exactly what I was looking for so I'm so excited <laughs> lady 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 hey she's out 
All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. It's always so fun having you guys kind of right there and sharing my day with you. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, bye.